Hello kids, I am back. I hope you all have done the practice work that I gave you yesterday. Now it's time to move forward. But before we begin our next topic, I have a simple question for you. If 500 people live in society A and 350 people live in society B, then in which society do more people live? Yes? Come on? Yeah, I know. It's very easy. More people live in society A. You knew the answer because you know that 500 is a bigger number than 350. You know how to compare the smaller numbers, right? So today we are going to learn how to compare bigger numbers. 5 or 6 digit numbers. So are you ready? Let's begin. While comparing numbers, the first thing which should come to your mind is the number of digits. Here we have to compare two numbers. 62,800 and 3,8,252. As you can see, this is a 5 digit number and this is a 6 digit number. So number with less digits is always smaller than number with more digits. So here we'll put this sign. Easy? Let's have a look at the next one. Here it is a six digit number. Right? And this one is five digit. So which is smaller? Yeah, 65,583 is smaller. So easy. But now when we move to number 3, we can see that both the numbers have equal number of digits. 65,112 and 25,760 both are 5 digit numbers. So here we'll first compare the first digit. Here 6 is bigger than 2. So easily we conclude that 65,000 is a bigger number than this one. Moving forward, again, we have equal number of digits in both the numbers. 3,42,239 and 3,7,713 both are 6 digit numbers. So, we'll start comparing the first digits. Both are equal. No problem. Let's go to the next one. This is 4 and here we have 0. So, this is bigger. Easy? Great. Now, let's move to the last one. 2,50,712 and 2,50,217. Let's compare the first digit. Equal. Second, equal. No worries, we'll go to the third one. This also same? No problem. We'll go to the next. 7 and 2. So here 7 is bigger than 2. That's why this number is bigger. Easy? Great. Now I think you are ready to try on your own. All the best. Now that you know how to compare two big numbers, it's going to be very simple for you. To arrange a group of given numbers in ascending or descending order. But before we begin, let's revise the meaning of ascending and descending. Ascending means arranging the group of numbers from smallest to largest. That means the smallest number will be written first. After that, we will write the larger number. Then larger and in the end, we will write the largest number. Why? Descending is just the opposite of ascending. In descending, we first write the largest number, then smaller, then smaller, and in the end, the smallest number. Descending means big to small. Okay? So, always remember, when we are arranging in ascending order, we are going from down to up. But when 
we are arranging in descending order we are going from up to down okay let's start arranging the given group of numbers in ascending order i hope you remember first of all we have to look at the number of digits the number with less digits is smaller so here we have five digits six digits five digits six digits and five digits so we'll first compare the five digit numbers okay 27000 16000 62000 so first digit we have to look at the first digit 2 1 6 of course this is the smallest so we'll write 16978 first then we have 2 and 6 so this one is smaller so we'll write 27141 Next we have this one so 62634 now we have the two six digit numbers right so let's compare here the first digit is 7 and here one so which is smaller of course 1 lakh 32874 easy and in the end we'll write Seven lakh forty-two thousand seven hundred sixty-three. Easy, right? Now let's start arranging the given group of number in descending order. Let's begin. First of all, the numbers with six digit will be the biggest, right? So here we have six digit five, 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 and six. We'll compare these two first. The first digit is two, and here we have one. So of course, this one is easy. I mean, bigger. So two lakh seventy thousand six hundred thirty-four will be the biggest, and then will be one lakh ten thousand six hundred thirty-five. Then we have these three five-digit numbers. So let's compare them. The first digit is five. Two and two, so fifty-four thousand seventy-six is a bigger number. Now both of these have two in the beginning, so we'll compare the next digit, seven and seven. Same again, no problem. We'll compare the next one, nine and nine. No worries. The next digit, six and eight. So yes, this one is bigger. Twenty-seven thousand nine hundred eighty-five is bigger than twenty-seven thousand nine hundred sixty-nine. Easy to solve, right? Ascending is smallest to biggest. Descending, biggest to smallest. Now is the time to try on your own. I know you all can do this easy work quickly. So arrange these groups of number in ascending. as well as descending order start quickly after knowing how to compare the numbers it's going to be very easy for you to form greatest or smallest number out of the given digits to form the greatest number we just have to arrange the given digits from biggest to smallest as we do in descending order and to form the smallest number we have to arrange the given digits from smallest to biggest as we do in ascending order so greatest is just like descending and smallest is just like ascending let's start okay greatest number which is the biggest digit out of these the greatest one yes 8 So we'll write eight first, then seven, then five, then four, then two, and then in the end one. Let's put commas to know what number have we formed. One two three comma one two comma. So the greatest possible number out of these digits will be. 
एट लैख सेवेंटी फाइव थाउजेंड फोर हंड्रेड ट्वेंटी वन नाउ लेट्स फॉर्म द स्मॉलेस्ट नंबर एज आई टोल्ड यू जस्ट द अपोजिट स्मॉल टू बिग सो द स्मॉलेस्ट डिजिट इज वन देन टू देन फोर देन फाइव देन सेवन एंड द बिगेस्ट वन इज एट सो द स्मॉलेस्ट पॉसिबल नंबर Out of the given digits is one lakh twenty-four thousand five hundred and seventy-eight. Easy, right? Let's have a look at one more example. The greatest possible number out of these five digits will write the biggest digit one, nine, then six, then three, one, and zero. So the number which we have formed is ninety six thousand three hundred ten. So easy, right? Now when we move to smallest number, we know that we have to write the smallest digit first. Over here, the smallest digit is zero. But if we write zero first, it will become a four digit number because zero. in the beginning of any number does not carry any value that's why we'll write the next smaller number first 1 and then we'll write 0 after that 3 then 6 and 9 so the smallest possible five digit number out of the given digit will be 10369 c If we would have written zero in the beginning, then the number would become one thousand three hundred sixty-nine. It would be only four-digit number as zero does not carry any value in the beginning. So this would be wrong. As five digits are given to us, we have to form a five-digit number only. Okay. So keep that in mind. 